here and I'm here with a process video for UK scrap addicts using the October theme of multiple photographs and I've got three uh, four by six photographs and I've also got these little cut files which I've um, pre-cut the castle Disney castle is a free page Evans um, cut file and I've reduced it quite considerably and um, cut two <clears throat> because I'm going to make a little fairy castle shaker pocket so I'm just applying glue all the way around the edge of that cut file and then I'm sticking on a sheet of acetate which I've then trimmed around the edge and I've done that twice so now I'm just cleaning off the acetate with a photo cleaning cloth um, to try and reduce static and I'm going to fill that little space in the middle with sequins and glitter I've got some little tiny gold stars there and a little hair in the, just trying to remove, I think it was a paintbrush um, bit in there. So just removing that and then moving on to some sequ some bigger sequins and I'm going to try and stick to kind of gold, pink and blue um, or pink pur with some purples. Um, they're the colours in my photographs. So I've got all the sequins in there that I want to and I'm now adding some glitter over the top. I've got gold and a little purple um, sort of lilac -y glitter in there as well. Once that's filled I'm going to again apply glue all around the edge and then stick the two together and once they're dry I've backed it onto a piece of black um, basil cardstock so that uh, when I use it on my page, if I want to tuck anything behind it, um, it won't show through. Obviously, with, with both, the, um, if I just left it acetate, you'd see anything um, that I tucked in underneath. Now I'm going to you get me prepare my title. So I've got my cut file title and some little crown embellishments, and I'm using Versamark uh, Watermark ink pad to apply some clear ink and then some gold sparkly embossing powder. I like the Versamark um, ink because it stays wet, it's quite sticky and it stays wet for quite a while, um, allowing you, you know, a good amount of time to kind of get your embossing powder on there. Using my heat tool to just uh, melt the embossing powder. I never get tired of watching this process. I'm sorry, you can't really see it on the video because of the angle of the heat tool but um, I love watching that melt. Be careful not to overheat it as soon as you see the embossing powder go um, move your heat tool around so that you don't overheat that embossing powder and I've got those all um, ready in my box beside me now I've um, embossed all of my title and my um, crown embellishments so now I'm moving on to the papers that I want to back my photographs on. I've got several sheets from Chamel's Head in the Clouds um, and this one's from Sparkle City and I've chosen this pink um, to use as my uh, first layer and I've trimmed the photographs just down slightly so they're not quite four by six because I want to add some layers with some colour in between um, and obviously if they were full four by six there wouldn't be any spaces. So I'm just mounting those up there and then I'm going to trim that off and then I'm going to add another layer of that hot pink you can see beside me which is from the Head in the Clouds um, paper pack or the you know the project pad sorry I think it was called and then that's the branding strip from the pale pink patterned paper that I use which I'm just going to tuck along the edge there to bring some purple in. Stick all of that down just on the left hand side leaving a little black border and now it's time to add my shaker pocket and my title and other embellishments. I've got some roses that I fussy cut from a sheet from the Head in the Clouds range and I'm just finishing off fussy cutting two or three more. Um, my plan is to tuck these around the castle, um, hopefully. 
So just finishing off fussy cutting these and I re some people hate fussy cutting. I find it really therapeutic. Um, my technique is to move the, is to cut the, you can see I've cut the roses out quite roughly so that they're small enough to manipulate and then I move the paper rather than the scissors. And that works for me. And now I'm using some strong red tape to stick that shaker pocket down. I did make a bit of a mistake here, as you'll see when I'm trying to add the embellishments, because I stuck quite close to the edge. So I haven't left myself much tucking in room. So it's a bit of a battle at times. Um, but with the shaker pocket in place, I'm just starting to add those floral um, fussy cut roses around there and that rose with the white background um, you see on the right hand side I've added there is from the Head in the Clouds ephemera pack. Adding, just fiddling around with the placement seeing what I want to add. I can't, I don't want a, a, a gap between the rose and the white of the cup file so I'm sort of, that's why I'm fiddling around with that one quite a bit trying to tuck it in so that um, it tucks right in without without leaving a gap between, if that makes sense. Again, I'm just tucking that, again, that's another little ephemera piece from um, the Head in the Clouds pack and it just um, balances that white that's on the right hand side around the other piece. Using my silicon glue gel to just add a little rose on the top. And then that one in behind there as well. So now I'm going to use those uh, gold crowns that I heat embossed just to add a little bit of embellishment between the photographs with a rose each as well. I'm going to um, add my title. I wanted a little bit more detail um, on my title rather than just the gold words on their own. So I've stuck the words onto the that um, patterned pink that's got some gold and silver um, detail on and again that's from Head in the Clouds and then I've just um, fussy cut around the edge of that to give it a little border. So I'm going to stick that in place with my silicon glue gel. I'm using the glue gel because that then enables me to move things around a bit if I um, get things wrong which is a good job I did because here as you can see I've put the title up a bit too high so my crown was disappearing off the page so I'm able to just adjust those slightly although using the silicon glue gel on black cardstock um, you do have to be a bit careful because it will mark um, if you get it smudge it in the wrong place don't ask me how I know learn from experience just finishing tucking that title in and then I wanted something to ground um, that fairy castle pocket so I've got a word strip or a phrase strip from Chamel's um, sticker book and I'm just sticking it onto that same um, pink um, glittery cardstock and I'm just going to pop that along the bottom of my castle and even though it's from a different, it's not from Head in the Clouds, because it's Chamel, the pink matches perfectly, which is great. There we go. And I'm now tucking um, a, a little word strip. I think that's from a Maggie Holmes um, sticker sheet. And um, I think that's it. I think it's today was the best. And then I want a little label with um, so that I can put the date. This is, so I found a little label. It's a gold edged label from the Jen Hadfield sticker book. And again, I'm going to back it onto that same pink card so that it's consistent with the other elements. And I'm just going to trim that round and, um, and add that in. So... It, I'm nearly at the point now where my camera battery dies. Um, so I'm going to add some little heart stickers in a minute, which you will see. And then I start shaking my uh, Heidi Shine Gold Ink Spray. 
and um, the battery dies. So I will tell you now what I do. Once I've stuck the heart stickers on, I uh, spritz, no, I don't spritz at all. I splat uh, with, there's a bit of a difference, uh, with my um, ink spray, just some drops so that there's droplets around the castle and the title. And I find some little stars as well, which I add in to the background as well. And you will see all of that on the stills at the end. So I'm just adding in the little gold stars there from, again, they're from the um, from the Jen Hadfield um, sticker book. And then the gold stars are from Chamel's sticker book. And the pink stars, which I add in as well, which have got little gold uh, details on, are from, um, I think they're from Maggie Holmes' carousel sticker pack. There was a sticker pack with a sheet of words um, and then some stars and hearts. So that's where the pink stars come from that you'll see on the photographs. Just continuing to add some little gold stickers, gold stars. <clears throat> and then I go on to move um, to, you'll see me shake my Heidi Shine in a minute. So this is my great nieces on a trip to Florida, having the best time. And even though I wasn't there, I just couldn't resist scrapping um, those beautiful photographs. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you here again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.